This is Washington, D.C. With a metro population of 8.2 million, this U.S. city is connected by a network of commuter rail lines, which serve as 60 stations across 15 counties and 6 independent cities. Consisting of 5 lines and 277 miles of track, the system connects various suburbs around Washington, with trains running from three states to D.C.'s Union Station. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. Commuter trains in Maryland were incorporated under the Mark brand in January 1984 unifying service across the state. The Penn Line traveled north from Washington, D.C.'s Union Station, servicing eight intermediate stops to Baltimore's Penn Station. Nearby, the Camden Line also traveled to Baltimore, servicing seven intermediate stops to Camden Station. The Brunswick Line traveled into Western Maryland and West Virginia, servicing 14 intermediate stops to Martinsburg. In April of that year, a new consolidated station was opened on the Penn Line at West Baltimore replacing two nearby stations at Edmondson and Frederick. A new station was opened on the Brunswick Line in July 1987, with Metropolitan Grove Station beginning service. Service on the Penn Line was revised in February 1989, with the station at Bowie being closed. In its place, a new station was opened at Bowie State, which included additional parking facilities. On the Camden Line, a new station was also opened in July at Savage, increasing parking supply for the route. Service on the Penn Line was extended in May 1991, with four new stations opening east to Perryville. Unlike the rest of the Penn Line, service on this section is provided in rush hours only, along with limited off-peak trips to Martin Airport. Commuter rail service in Virginia began in 1992 with the launch of the Virginia Railway Express. In June, service began on the Manassas Line, running south from Washington's Union Station to Broad Run. One month later in July, the Fredericksburg Line was launched, following the existing route to Alexandria. The line then split from the Manassas Line, servicing six new stations to Fredericksburg. A new station was added to the Camden Line in May 1993, with service beginning to Greenbelt. This station provided an interchange with the Washington Metro, which began servicing the stop later that year. In January 1994, Berwyn Station on the Camden Line was closed, given its close proximity to the Greenbelt and College Park stations. A new station was also opened further north on the line at Laurel Racetrack, adding additional parking facilities for the route. In December, a second station was opened on the Camden Line at Muirkirk, further increasing parking supply for commuters. In January 1995, a new station was opened at Lorton on the Fredericksburg Line, increasing access to nearby developments. Camden Line service was further improved in July 1996, with a new station opening at Dorsey. The stop replaced the nearby station at Elk Ridge, with the new station providing improved access to a nearby highway. Later that month, a second infill station opened on the Fredericksburg Line, with service beginning to Franconia Springfield. In December 2001, a new branch of the Brunswick Line began service, with two new stations opening to Frederick. The line branched off from the existing Brunswick route after Dickerson, with trains traveling along a lightly used freight line to the new stations. In November 2015, a one-stop extension of the Fredericksburg Line began, with trains extending to Spotsylvania. The new station helped to relieve parking congestion in downtown Fredericksburg, with the new station being located in an outlying area. This brings us to the Washington DC commuter rail maps that we know today. That was the evolution of Washington DC's commuter rail network, giving us the five lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our videos on the evolution of Washington and Baltimore's metro networks, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground, until the next one.